and apples always turn into? Apple. Now you know the reason. So everybody will know there's a fixed law out there and you can't mess with it. Uh, for those of you viewers outside uh, who will watch this program, please, I beg you, please come to terms and ask yourselves, is the term bishop a Christian term? Is the term bishop to be put together with homosexual? Is such a thing, can be such a thing as homosexual bishop? Please, for the sake of those who may think of this, please stand away from them. No person reading their Bible with a heart right in Christ and for Christ would ever think of putting together Christianity with such a shame of homosexuality. Why do they think they can get away with it? Answer, they think science has proved evolution, mm, mm. therefore the Old Testament is just Jewish myths, yeah, yeah. and so half the time you'll have to show, look, that's where you went wrong. You have the wrong belief about the beginning, so you have a wrong belief about the future. You think you can live like that, and since God has changed, the rules are changed. No, since apples turn into apples, God hasn't changed. If he was opposed to abortion or homosexuality or murder 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, he has not changed one bit. He has still got the same rules, but evolution may be their bigger problem, and homosexuality is a consequence, not a cause. Um, we have here a, a very eye-opening video program by um, Creation Research. Uh, by Mr. John Mackay and his team of, uh, of, of researchers from Creation Research Australia. It's called, it is very hard, it's called the Baby Terminators. Uh, titles like Whose Choice, Tissue or Human, Medical or Murderer or Murder. Uh, Mr. Mackay, we just have three or four minutes to go. Abortion. How do we deal with that? Okay, you have a mother, you have a baby. You have a doctor. All three of them are involved. Mm. And the father, sadly, is usually gone long ago yeah, or not even, yeah. doesn't even care. But in reality, the baby the Bible regards as having a heritage in the image of God defaces it maybe by sin. Mm. Now, if the abortion's already been committed, um, it's too late for the baby in that sense. Mm. But the mother is still alive. Now, would you want your worst enemy to end up in the hell that's described in the Bible? No. Nope. Well, neither would I want a woman who is guilty of murder to end up in hell either. Because if I did, then Moses and David should be there as well. But you see, there is another option for the woman who is still alive. She needs to repent of her sin and put it away and turn around and follow this Christ the Creator. Because if Christ could change Moses the murderer, and if Christ could change David the murderer, and I say it that way because remember how David wrote in the Psalms, my Lord said to thee, Lord. Now, that's an interesting puzzle for a Jewish person, but he's referring to Christ as his Messiah. My Lord said to thee, Lord, referring to God the Father. And so David was a murderer, but yet he turned around, God turned him around and made a new person of him. So with the people who've already been guilty of this crime, we need to tell them there is a way back and they can be remade new in the image of God. In our current legal status, the law is not going to put them physically to death, even though in God's eyes, that's what they deserve, right? And the same is true with the homosexuality. Um, you don't want, I don't want them to end in hell. I want them to experience God's eternity. They deserve stoning to death. Do you remember the penalty that God put in Leviticus? Take them outside, stone them to death. But remember Jesus who said, those of you who haven't sinned, you pick up the stone. <laughs> you couldn't do that, could you? I couldn't do that. So therefore, what we can do is say, look, God is so angry, you will spend eternity in hell. Now, if that's as far as you get, they may then take you outside and stone you because they're so demonically committed to this perversion, many of them will get unbelievably angry. Or they may, under the grace of God, repent. And then you can say, look, Jesus died for this sin as well as all of our sins. Turn around now, repent, and this Creator God will recreate you new in His image. Is there by any means, any reason, any medical, genuine means for an abortion to happen? 
Absolutely not. Mm. Yeah, unless, of course, the mother's life is threatened. Mm -hmm. Now then the doctor has a choice. If I leave the baby, it'll kill the mother. If I kill the baby, I leave the mother. And that situation does occur for one reason. We don't live in a good world. We live in a world in which death, sadly, does occur. And if I'm a doctor, I sometimes have that sad choice to make. But not, not to give any license. No, uh, there is no license I know. there. If, excellent. Uh, what is the percent of such real uh, occurrences? Because I heard About it's just infinite. Zero, 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 Infinite as a Yeah, oh, that's so, what it is. So for, for the viewers, the listeners, please, it's 0 .0 0.0.0. We're taking the whole subject back. Uh, please tell us. Uh, there's a point right here. I killed my baby. Yeah. Where do I get help, please? Or let's put it the other way. Uh, Am I supposed to kill my baby? Where do I get help, please? Mm. Tell any of these mothers who would ask, any of these parents who would ask this question. Please tell them who can help them. Number one, of course, they can get on their knees like you did and like I did and go straight to the Creator. Mm. It will cost you the price of humility. You will have to admit what you are, a sinner, and then you will have to repent of your sin and you have direct access to Him. But better than that, you'll find there are many Christian groups around who, if you can't look after your baby, would even be willing to take that baby and look after it for you. And God has raised up people like that. In fact, on that video, the lady who had that choice gives her testimony about how God changed her. And we finish with a lady who, the doctor said, your baby's going to be deformed. Kill it now. And they refused. And then you hear the baby's testimony. She's now 14 or 15. She's deformed, all right, but what a glorious young Christian lady she is. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we thank you so much for um, the gracious help uh, provided by Alpha Omega TV. It's easy. Info at creationresearch.net. You'll get all the information you need about creation and, most of all, about our glorious Creator, God. And you even have a newsletter in Romanian. Oh, yes, we do. For those of you having... Uh, friends uh, or you yourself maybe will be, you'll know Romanian we have a newsletter printed in Romanian and an email version of it if you need that too please write to us we'll be ready to help you and assist you um, thank you so much for being with us today uh, may God bless you and I hope we'll see you soon with a new series of programs